Shalom, Israel. We are back to another episode of Casting Down Imaginations. I am Officer Abiyya, and it's going to be me and Soldier Jeremiah today, but we got a class, well, not a class, I got to stop saying it. We got a, a radio show for y'all today, Things You Must Know Before the End, because if uh, I know my brothers and sisters uh, in the truth know, it's shaping up to be a short one, y'all. <laughs> you know, uh, the Most High is making moves for the repentance of Israel. Um, and we should be going home shortly. I, nobody knows the day nor the hour. You will never hear me say a day. Nobody knows the day or hour, but the prophecies are coming to pass that is written in this Holy Bible. So what we must do or what we must know before the end, because I don't want to be the one standing outside the gate of the kingdom of heaven. I want to be the one that walks in in my respective gate, in my respective tribe. So we must know some things. For those that don't know that they're Israel, if you black, Hispanic, and Native American, by your father's descent, or if you fit these curses that we're going to go over a little bit. But we must know what? We must know the commandments of God. We must know he Israel. And we must know that the Son of God came and died for the nation of Israel only. So we're going to touch the essentials today because we have a lot, a lot, a lot of new people on here that listen to us every day. We get new faces in every Sabbath, new people asking and inquiring about the truth every day. So for those that are new, this class is, is geared towards you. For those that have been here, no, I'm going to make it as entertaining as possible. Bear with us. Uh, we're going to go over a few things. Of course, we're going to dialogue like we always do. But you know how it is. We're going to listen to some righteous music first. And then we're going to jump right into it. DJ Soldier Jeremiah. Hit us with that. Give us a second, y'all. Thought he was queued up already. You'll get this shirt at Profits Apparel. Uh, I think it's dot org. Maybe it's a dot com. Y'all help me out. Is I be on here? <laughs> I forgot whether it's dot org or dot com, but it's Profits Apparel dot org or com. Order it now. Order it now. You know we gotta stay. Fresh with some of this Israelite attire. You know, I'm going to try to, when the funds and the monies look better, you know, I'm going to buy some more. I look, I'm look. i thinking about getting a couple more shirts because I like promoting our businesses. And plus, the shirt designs are dope. And the best way to promote Israel is actually wearing it. Uh, you can use or for anything, honestly. You know, it doesn't have to be non-profits. I mean, GoDaddy will give it to you. No matter what. So just letting y'all know that. Uh, so, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to hold on to music. How's everybody doing? Periscope. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. No. The online classes can never be full, I don't think. I think that you can join at any time on IsraelUnite.org. Yeah, it's always open. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. And if you can't if you can't register online for Sabbath class, I know Sabbath class is also held on Periscope for everybody to see. So yes, please sign up. We got classes three times a day, seven days a week, and they are free to get this knowledge. Because we must need this knowledge before the end. That's the that's the whole topic of today's class. So, <laughs> right, you can catch us going to camp on Periscope. Uh, you can catch the deacons doing classes on Periscope, the bishops on class on Periscope, any facet of Israelite life. 
you can pretty much catch on Periscope now. We try to make it very accessible for everybody to see, to learn. Yeah, knowledge is power. You know, now in commandments is life. That's how I see it. But yeah, we're going to get into it. Man, I, I need a co-host. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to start with this. We're going to start with this. God did put one nation over everybody else for you new listeners. God has a chosen people. As people will call them, they, the world calls them the so-called Jewish people from Europe that was involved in the Holocaust. Those are not God's chosen people. God's chosen people were sold on slave ships back in 1619. God's people were conquered by the conquistadors, the French, the, the British in 1492, and the, Portu uh, the Portuguese in 1492. They're known as your so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. How do we know that? By the prophecies written in Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus chapter 26. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It says, but if it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses talking to the Israelites after the Exodus. After the Exodus, we, the Israelites left out through the persecution of Egypt, through slavery in Egypt, and we had to get taught the law because we were living like Egyptians. And he said, if we don't keep these commandments that Moses delivered unto the children of Israel, curses will happen. Bad things, evil things will come upon the children of Israel for disobedience. The curses that's listed from 16 to 68 identifies who the children of Israel are because it's only on one nation of people. Even though we may look different or we speak different languages, we all went through these things knowing that we are of our respective tribes of Israel. First curse. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16 Cursed shall be Cursed shalt thou be in the city and cursed shalt thou be in the field wherever you go any any poverty ridden place in a in a city in a town the most the the the, the race of people that will be predominantly there majority there would be, or in every nation, you're right, in every nation, any poverty-ridden place will have Israelites in it, meaning Native Americans, Blacks, Hispanics. Or, you know, we, they, we might be called uh, African, but they're not African, but they are the seed of Israel. Right. Jeremiah, you got that yet? We about to go a quick break. I just wanted to bring that point out. We're going to get more in more depth into it after this break, y'all. Bear with us this morning. We try to get that music. Like Paulu would say. Officer Paulu. That here. <laughs> okay. While he's getting that, Feast of Tabernacles is coming up from the September 15th through the 20th. Those that have already reserved the place, get ready to be edified. Not even edified, but man conference. Man conference as well. Prepare to have some fun, man. We got over a thousand repentant people in one place in the wilderness for more than one day, five days, almost seven days, almost a whole week. You know, sounds just like a Passover, don't it? But we're going to be in the wilderness kicking it righteously. I'm telling you, we got events. 
We got men's conference. We got classes. You know, the Lord bishops Sarah. is going to grace us. Donna's and Sarah for the sisters. Y'all gonna learn better. Y'all gonna learn that y'all y'all gonna learn and y'all gonna be better than what y'all was before y'all got there. Lord willing. If y'all the same when y'all leave, y'all ain't in the spirit. We ready? You sure? You absolutely positive. Play that.
Because the dame with cards all night. Okay. Well, send me the number. Four three nine. Send me the number. Four zero five two nine three twenty twenty nine. Two nine three. Two nine three twenty twenty nine. Okay, 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 okay. No way, no way, no way, no way that I'm gonna go away. I think I, like I think the earthquake hit uh Rome, Italy last night. What's today? The twenty third or the twenty fourth? Yeah, I'll get hit it yesterday. Yeah. The most high playing, man. It's about that time, y'all. It's about that time. We need to stop playing. We need to stop slow playing, like they say. We we procrastinating. We slow playing, man. We get right, right now. It froze on this end. Is the video froze on y'all end? Uh, Alright, right, check it. It's your phone, bro. Your service. Bro, the reason why I think it's the is for one reason. There's somebody that surveys the whole neighborhood. They can't just break in yo, yo stuff only, as we would know so. So they gotta break in a few new mics. It's also because black folks living amongst each other, they have to create some type of crime rate. You see what I'm saying? They've been sitting for all the hours. Right. Guess who they gonna blame now? Watch this. Right. I think police set that up, bro. The police set that up to hit us up. Right, because there's too many black people living together in unity. They have to create some kind of something up. To have people look at y'all and kind of want to get y'all get y'all kicked out and move around. Like now, this was happening to you guys. Move guys. Right, they gonna try to blame it on us. Right. He saw, bro. The wild of the devil, bro. And the devil was rock. <laughs> the dragon, I mean, yeah, the dragon was rock. Hey, bro, bro, for real. Because nobody's gonna steal all a book second Bible, bro. Not Jake. Jake ain't gonna steal that. You can't find it. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, damn, they took all his Bibles. Like, you know what I What's your second Bible, bro? You know what I'm saying? Jake ain't about to read them. And Jake ain't about to pawn them. He's always going to take them. He's 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 going to take them. It sound like it though. Yeah, you say that, you know, tonight. But you know, uh, uh, like this. Or he's sitting in front of his house. Out for three hours in the night. He's sitting there. So if they do that, why did he see nobody coming around breaking the car? Because he was the one doing it. Seeing when everybody sleep. What, what, what time of night that nobody comes outside? And then between five and six, I'm guessing. That's when it happened. Well, that's when I was using That's when he was. I got his ass on camera. Uh, between what, at five. Five feet. Like at five feet, at my neighbor's car door. Doing something. So like, did he saw them? Look like Esau, but he was tall. I don't know. If, I mean, he was either he was either Esau or Light Skin Jacob. Real Light Skin, like high yellow, like them. They're like yeah. Oh, Golfers are like class clowns. If you ignore them, they stop. The video's dope.
they ain't able to see. They mess with them all the time. After that, they gon' not sleep back. Everything they don't listen to. I'm gonna do that. They gon' leave. But get your ass in line. I tell me why would you try? Every time I practice with that boy, I've been out here crying. My forefathers is back for revenge. So I'm on a dance to whip it in the pain. You about to feel I'm gonna show me it. Bye. I had to get 16 and got it go. Sorry, I don't just be blocked, but I had to today. He had it go. I don't think it's available for download, but you can listen to it at any time on SoundCloud or YouTube. on my nerves and I in my mind go worldly for a second, I think death before the sun. So I'd rather I'd rather die than show this either my that uh, 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 that I was or could be a nigga. Right, right. Shalom, I'd rather you know, die. Quite blessed. But yeah. Um, awesome. Hey man, look, I got some bad news from uh, I just wanna share with y'all, you know, uh <laughs> My car was broken into, it took my bag, but all my Bibles, all my notes. Since I, all my notes was in that bag since I've been in the truth. Mm. All of it's gone. 
all of it's gone. My Bibles, everything. I just brought my uh, 1611. Oh, just got man. my 1611. Had my 1611 for like two, three months. Oh, gone. man. And I'm not talking about the 1611 that you buy with the, the uh, old English. I'm talking about, about this that one. one. That oh, one is $130. Man. That one is $130. Uh, but go ahead. But I'm still here. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I was a little late. I had to make a repeat report. But I said no, I got to make it to the show. Uh, that hurts though. Uh, that's why that's why it's so imperative that our people get right. Because who still Bibles? Who still a Bible? That's why I don't think there was nothing but Bibles in that bag. It was apocryphus. I had like uh, three apocryphus. Uh, That's why I don't think notes, it was Jacob. Number notes. I had a bunch of notes. That's why I don't think it's Jacob. If it's Jacob, I hope no, he was, actually pulls the Bible up and reads and then comes into class and gives it back <laughs> after he repents. <laughs> That'll be dope. <laughs> but I don't think it was Jacob. Jacob ain't gonna steal books. You can't it's pawn it's books. Bag, but this what I, the reason why I want to share it is because. Satan ain't gonna stop my look. What we doing on this periscope? People was coming repenting. People banging on the doors. You understand? And I, I want to bring this out because this anything that happened to you, do not stop. Right. Keep on pushing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Stay in the spirit. Even though you y'all got to think about it. I've been in this truth uh, six years. Mm. All my notes for six years. In the, it was in that bag. Do you know? <laughs> do you know how extensive that was? How hard it is to get that stuff? All the places I travel, all the men conferences I've been to, sitting sitting in the rooms with uh with the uh, the bishops and and the, uh, the deacons when they going over stuff and they, in the, in the, um in the hotel rooms. When the bishop came down here in the deacon house, going over stuff, I'm writing it. That's more precious than rubies and diamonds, it's bro. More, listen, but guess what? It ain't gonna stop me. It ain't gonna stop me uh, from coming here. Uh, it, it, if I don't, you know. Uh, but watch this. I'm still in the spirit, you know. Let me well grab grab Revelation chapter twelve or sixteen. Because if you're in this fight, you know that you know who's trying. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You know the devil gonna try you at any chance he gets. Any chance he gets. If you in the world and you in Christianity and you ain't never had to put up a fight, because you ain't in the fight. The devil ain't gotta worry about you. He already got you to see. He got you in white Jesus. That's that's he's done he's done his job with that. But us doing this work, laboring, this is what happens. Read that. Revelations, chapter 12, verse 16. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth. Oh, 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 17. I'm sorry. Read, read 17. Revelations so, chapter 12, verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. The dragon in this context is talking about the so called white man, Edom, Esau. Said it was wroth with the woman. The woman here is Israel. Come on. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God. And have the testimony of Jesus Christ, which keep the command. He's only wroth with those that keep the commandments of God. Right, right. In the faith, in the testimony of Jesus Christ, made war with us. Right. It's no coincidence. It's not a coincidence, man. I can't prove it, so I'm not gonna say it. But, but I really think they, that it wasn't Jay. It, listen, they've been having some strange things that have been happening to us in, uh, in a uh, community. You understand? Because uh, there's a number of Israelites in the, and the people know it, you know. But uh, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, uh... <laughs> I can't prove it, so I'm not gonna uh, say. Yeah, it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. But uh, it's all, it's all Satan. It don't matter. It's all Satan. Even if it was Jake, it's still right. Satan trying to take me out the spirit. Because guess what? Whether y'all believe it or not. That's not, I'm going through a whole lot. I'm going through it. I'm not going to give you all my, you know, what I'm you know, going right. through, but I'm going, these brothers know who are close to me, they know I'm going through a lot right now. 
And that right there, I'm telling y'all, I almost came out of spirit when I see my bag gone. I'm telling y'all, when I seen that bag gone, I was like, you, you, you got to realize, you got to realize, you have to realize what we casting down. We yesterday we talked about music, the music, right, and how niggas act. And I almost came out the spirit, act like a nigga, like I was like, to my Bible, right? You know what I'm saying? But then I had to, I had to breathe, I had to breathe, and I and then I called, I called Officer Apiata, like, listen, man, I have to wait. You gonna have to. Hold it down for a little bit, but I'm coming. I'm gonna be a little late. I had, you know, the, the police, uh, they wanna uh, take a report, you know, so I you know, gave them a report, you know, but uh, <laughs> she said, uh, shotgun Nearly smiley. Pulled the shot, <laughs> Nearly pulled a shotgun smiley. <laughs> Yo, get, get, get to Rock chapter two, verse four. That's what, that's what I was about to get. You in the spirit, because this pen might turn into something else. Right. Uh, These are things they must know before the end, because if you come to serve the Lord, yeah, know for a surety. You listen. Things gonna happen. Listen, um, sisters and brothers. Like I said before, I'm not gonna tell you everything that's going on with me, but I, the brother can contest that I'm going through it, and I'm going through a lot, and this is hitting me left and right, left and right, left and right. You understand? But I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. You know, I still, I still love Israel. I'm still gonna bring these precepts out. You know, we bringing out the scriptures, and here it is. I gotta get tried. Right. I gotta get tried. How, how can I tell y'all to go through something and I can't go through it? How? How can I tell you like, hey, y'all do this, y'all can't do this, and then when I get tried, I'm acting like when I'm telling you not to do it. Right. You understand? So listen, see they gonna win. Matter of fact, matter of fact, he's adding on to the glory because I'm gonna bring this out and destroy it. So read that. Sirach, chapter two, verse one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. What, what is that talking about? That means that you are going to be tried. With things that normally, before you was in his truth, you would go off the handle with. Mm -hmm. But it said, don't be hasty in time of trouble, meaning revert back to your old self. Oh, man, this is going down. I used to do this. Let me go back and do this. No. Mm -hmm. No. Don't be hasty. You got to lean on him. With it, who's him? The most high God. Right. Because it's going to get worse out here for mm -hmm. a lot of us. Right. A lot of us. Especially, especially those who believe. Right. Especially those who believe. I'm a, I'm a, listen, I'm going to show you something. Get Joe. We're going to come back here. Hold that spot. Put this little flag right there. Uh, get Job chapter 1. Come, come back there, uh, uh, officer. Job chapter 1. And start at verse 6. Job chapter 1, verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. Come on. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man? So Job was perfect, meaning he was keeping the commandments. He was doing what he was supposed to be doing. So the Most High said, Listen, you see... My servant Joe, that's my servant. I'm, I'm proud of Joe. Did you try him? Read on. One that feareth God and is few evil. Come on. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, "The Joe fear God for not? No, he don't, he don't fear you for not. Read. Has not thou made he, he he fear you for something? That's why he fear you. Read. Verse ten. Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house? A hedge meaning protection. Don't you got all this? You got he protected. Read. And about all that he had on every side. You protect his businesses, his family, his uh 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 his house, his money, everything you everything on his side you protected. On every side he's protected. I can't touch him. 
Lately, you know, Satan can't do what he want to do. I'm just letting you know. That's why y'all should not worry. Don't worry about if you don't have enough food. Don't worry about if you don't have enough clothes. You understand? Read. Thou hast said, thou, thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he has. He said, put forth your hand. And touch me to take your protection away from him. Read. And touch all that he had, and he will curse thee to thy face. And he gonna curse you to thy face. He gonna curse you to your face. Read on. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he had is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. He said, Listen, all that he has is in your power. Go ahead, go ahead and do what you do, but don't touch him. Don't put your hands on him. Don't take his life. I'm just showing you, now go back to, uh, you can go back to Shirai. I'm just showing you that Job was doing something right. Actually, let me go to, go to Acts chapter 6, verse 40. Acts chapter 6, verse 40. 40. 40. Oh. Okay. Because you got to understand something. Our, the apostles went through it too. Right. We going to go through it too. Christ went through it. But what what remained the same after they went through it? Ain't no, Read. Ain't no forty in Acts. Acts five and forty. I'm sorry. My bad. Acts five and forty. Acts chapter five verse forty. And to him they agreed. And when he and when they had called the apostles and had beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak the name of Jesus and let them go. Stop. This is when the apostles were testifying about Christ to the Pharisees. So Gamaliel stopped them from actually killing the apostles, but the Pharisees beat them, beat them up. Read the next verse. Verse 41. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they... What, were, what did the apostles do? They departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing. They got whooped by these Pharisees. Jump, if you can, if, if for lack of a better word. And they left the council rejoicing. Read. Rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Come on. And, the, and daily in the temple and in every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Because we go through tribulations and we might be spiritually beat down to the ground, might get physically beat down to the ground. Some of us might die, but guess what's going to happen? Read verse 42 again. Verse 42, and daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. We ain't stopping this gospel. That's right. You can do whatever, you, that anything can happen to us. If I got breath in my life, I'm going to preach this gospel. Yes, sir. That's right. They can't stop this. It's unstoppable. If they kill me tomorrow, these brothers will be here tomorrow doing casting down imagination. And guess what? If they take me out, another one gonna pop up. It's it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You heathens, Esau is over. You finish. You done. We waking up. And you ain't dealing with them little, them little uh, movements that they did with before where they just um, tore them down. Like, um, move. That, um, right, the move movement. The move movement and, uh, the uh, Panthers and uh, Black Lives the, Matter. Uh, who else? Uh, Malcolm X and them. Uh, right. Malcolm X and them. They listen. They ain't worried about those dog on uh, uh, Islam and they. I'm talking about the blacks. <laughs> they ain't worried about them. They they finished. They done. They Esau don't even care about them. Esau he ain't worried about us. He's coming and attacking us. So what are we what are we going over? Things you must know before the end. Because Christ warned us about this, and we're not gonna get into it. In Matthew 24, he, he lets you know what to look for for the end. And it's happening. But we got a little bit more. We're gonna go to uh let me well, we're gonna go to give me 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. Second Corinthians. Because Paul is the one that all Christians run to. Paul didn't have no hunk of door. Paul was very 
Pharisee and he was living good. Bro. Paul was good as a Pharisee. He could do whatever he wanted. He persecuted the Christians. But as soon as he came into the faith of Christ, as soon as he came into the truth, we're going to read what happened to him. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. So Paul is letting you know he is an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. He come from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read the next verse. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors, in labors more, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths off. Okay. See, hold on. See, read, read that part again and read that slow when he says, are they ministers of Christ? Read that. Verse 23. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. Come on. In labors more abundant. Paul said he labors for this truth. But read what happens when he labors for this truth. Read. And stripes above yeah. measure. He gets whooped. He's been beaten for this truth. Read. And prisons more frequent. He's been thrown in jail. He's been incarcerated for the truth. Mm -hmm. Read. And deaths off. People been threatening his life. Often, when they see him, read on. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. He's been beaten by his fellow men, the Jews, the uh, the Judites, the Benjamites, and the Levites. Five times received I forty stripes, save one. That's thirty-nine stripes. Thirty-nine stripes. Read verse twenty-five. Thrice. Was I beaten with rocks? Which scripture at? Which scripture at? I'm at 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. Read that again. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. Thrice was I beaten with rocks. Three times he was beaten with sticks, like bats, if you can understand. Read. Once I was stoned. Once was I stoned. Do you know how hard, it, do you know how much it hurts to be hit with a rock? And listen. Israel, you know Israel, they get with it. They like, I'm gonna hit him in his head. I'm gonna get him. You know how they, 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 you know they niggers with it. They gotta get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a knot right there. You know what I'm saying? They gotta be cold with it. They gotta be extra with it. You know what I'm saying? Jay gotta be extra. So you gotta remember who's throwing these rocks. This is our people. My brother hit me upside the head with a cement rock when I was like seven, I think. I was young. He threw the rock. It was huge. He had to pick it up with two heads and he tossed it. And boom, right in the back of the head, split me open. Mm. So I can imagine, Bruh. I can imagine. I see it on Facebook, somebody uh, put on uh, Jake hit anybody with a rock, a, a little girl. She was slapping the little girl with him, and she walked over the little girl and hit her right here, bop, perfect. <laughs> that ain't no, look, getting hit by a rock ain't no joke. Big old boat. Yo, yo, yo bones gonna get before that rock do. Read on. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. He suffered shipwreck. Do you know how scary that is? Just imagine you on a carnival cruise, right? And the ship, it's a bad storm out there. And the ship just fall to pieces. And now you in the, now you in the water, fearing for your life. You know, on the left side, you don't see land. Right side, you don't see land. And behind, you don't see land. In front of you, you don't see land. You just see number one. Come on. Now, hold on. I don't want nobody to get it twisted. You know, I know we had fights in our, in our past, but what Elvis is going through, this is for Christ. You got to understand, this, is for, this ain't no nigga stuff. He's teaching the word and getting beat. But you got pastors now, they talking about, oh, we speak the gospel in a $65 million jet. He ain't got no care in the world because he's pimping you for your money. These are, the, the prophets in this Bible really served God and they didn't have no hunky-dory time doing it. They had adversity, y'all. So these pastors that talk about, oh, the God has blessed me. He's keeping a hedge on me. He's not serving God. He's serving the devil. All the men, listen, all the men... All of men, we're going to go back to this, right? 21. All, if you come serve the Most High, get ready to be uh, tried. Get ready to be tempted. 
Get rid of these tribes because it's going to happen. Right. Jesus Christ himself said, ain't no uh, servant better than the master. We're gonna get and that he next. got beat. No, we're going to get that next. He got crucified. He got harassed. He got lied on. Why don't these pass? What hap what's what are these passes going to be? He told them um, people, he said, you will drink the cup that I drink. You're going to drink the same cup. You want to follow me? You're going to drink that same cup. I Listen, it's going to happen. These pastors on TV on shows, yet? they get world-renowned oh, fame. Oh, so they ain't on that level yet, but who knows when the most high turn it up. We can be start getting killed for this thing. I mean, are you scared? Are you scared? I bet you we lost about five, ten people over spirit crew just now. Hey. Out it. They need to know. These days, they need, they need to know that <laughs> this ain't no now. walk in the park. Listen. This ain't no was, picnic. Look, you was lied to. If they told you that you all coming here and then it's going to be all right, everything going to be all hunky-dory, you was lied to. You got, listen. You finish that? No. Yeah, go ahead and finish. All right, we're going to get it. We're going to get to it. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 25. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night, a night and a day, I have been in the deep. He spent a night and a day in the water after the shipwreck. Listen, I don't want to eat, listen. I don't want to be in the water. <laughs> you know how scary that is? <laughs> Could you ever imagine sharks? I don't know. Creatures. Just out there. Just out there. You know, he, the whole time he talking to the Most High, he praying the entire time. Yes. You wet. I mean, it's cold. The, the water out in, in, in the sea ain't, ain't hot. It's cold. And you hanging on for a day that you can't go to sleep or you're going to drown. You can't go to sleep. So he hanging on this um, board. This there. Read verse 26. Verse 26. And journeys and journeys often. In pearls of waters, in pearls of robbers. Oh, in, stop, 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 stop. Read that a little slow. Read that again. In journeys often, in pearls of waters, in pearls of robbers. Meaning, Paul's been robbed before. When he went out preaching this gospel, because, you know, Paul moved around a lot. They call him the apostle of the Gentiles, meaning uh, other, uh, our, our uh, northern kingdom brothers and sisters. Our heathen living brothers and sisters that was caught up in the traditions of other nations. He was out there preaching the gospel to them, the ones living like Gentiles. He was robbed. This is a man of God. Robbed, read. In peril by my own country. By his own people. Read. In perils by the heathen. Even the other nations gave him trouble. Read. In perils in the city. He had perils when he went in the cities. Come on. In perils in the wilderness. Even when he was out there in the wilderness, not in a city. He had peril. He had troubles. Come on. In perils in the sea. You already know. He just told you about being shipwrecked. Come on. In perils among false brethren. Even the brothers that said that they was with them, he had problems and troubles with. Right. Because people know how to fake the funk. People know how to say, call your Shalala. <laughs> Show up on Saturday. <laughs> Talk about, yeah, we Israel, we Israel, we Israel. <laughs> but as soon as you get in trouble, he can't help you, he don't want to help you, and he's slandering and gossiping and murmuring on your name. Right. False brethren. Judas is scary, if you can understand. Even Christ had a false brethren in his 12, and he knew it. Right. Because he said, he told them all, he said, one of y'all is the devil. And Judas was standing there listening to him when he said it. We ain't no better than our master. You can finish that? Yeah, we done. Let's go to the get that. Get that. What? Thank start, you. start. Oh, Thank you, John. Please, please, um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. remember exactly where it's at. Yeah. But, uh, Thank you, John. Uh, y'all gotta um, y'all gotta understand. Uh, just bear with us for a second. Uh, things you're gonna go through, 
While he looking for that, get Sirach chapter 2 and 1. Let me see if I'm the Bible app. Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. You hear that? Constantly endure. You just went over it with Paul. Constantly endure. Constantly. I mean, trial, trial after trial, trial after trial, trial after trial. Read on. And make not haste in time of trouble. And make not haste in time of trouble. Don't leave this true when trouble start happening. Don't leave it. You know, a lot of these brothers coming out the drug life, where you know, where they can make a thousand dollars a night or whatever, five hundred dollars a day. You know, just a crazy amount of. Uh, amount of money that they used to. And they have to put that away when they come to serve Christ, right? So they start struggling. They start struggling. You know, they got pay bills. Their wife they came in true true with, yelling at them. Cause she, you know, she probably don't have that faith. Coming at them, nagging at them, like come on, we we're gonna be out there, we're gonna get kicked out. What are you gonna do? Putting all that pressure on him. The man loves his family. He ready to be out there slinging drugs about to die. I got it. Yeah. You have it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, give me John chapter 15, started, verse 19. Well, let me see where I want to start at. Uh, no, verse 8, start at 18. Yeah, yeah. 15, 18? Yeah, 15, 18. Read that. John. Wait, hold on one second. Okay, yeah, you're right. John, chapter 15, verse 18. Come on. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. You heard that? Read that again. Oh, did you hear that? Read it again. John, chapter 15, verse 18. If the world hates you, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So these Christians in the Christian church on Sunday, everybody loves a so-called Christian. Oh. That lets you know they ain't serving the one true God. They ain't serving Jesus in this Bible. Love, hugs, and kisses. That's the love they're talking about. Read on. Verse 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. If we was, if if the if the ones that claim that they Israel, which I mean we ain't claim, we know we Israel, but John that keep the commandments and the faith of Christ, you wearing your fringes. You keep the commandments out in the open, in the public, and in private, you know how they feel about you. You right. can tell by the way they look at you. Right. We are known as a hate group. Right. Not because we hate people, because they hate us. Because the so-called Jewish man is, is a separatist group. Right. They have their own hospitals, their the own Amish, schools. The Amish. They separate from amongst their own people. They don't even buy no dog on cars. Right. They need a horse and a buggy. Look, I drove trucks. I've been, I've been behind them. A so-called regular American white man and a Jewish man get in a car accident together. And if the Jewish ambulance pull up, they only put the Jewish person in, in the back. That's facts. That's fact. The other white man's going to stay there and die. Go look it up. But they're not. But you don't talk about us being, we separatists. Right. We hate, we're a hate group because we want to come together and fix our communities. Cause nobody else is doing it. Right. So now we just, now you say do it. We doing it, and you get mad at us for doing it. Then we don't do it. You like y'all y'all some dog on heathens. Y'all don't know how to work together and, and um, build together. So now we start to do it, and you you mad at that? That's that's how you know that we ain't of the world because the world loved the so called Jewish man. The per the people in church right now will call the so called. Jewish man, which is an uh, imposter, chosen one of God. The chosen people. But then they look at each other and call themselves niggas. Because we ain't of the world. Right. The people who keep these commandments, uh, the Israelites of this Bible, uh, the world hates. The world hates it. Read on. Read on. John chapter 15, verse 19. If you are of the world, the world will love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world 
hated you. That's why you have problems with your parents and your family. That's why you have problems with your friends in the world. That's why you have problems with any other person that you equate with in the world when you come into this truth. They don't look at you the same. Right. You don't even have to say anything. Stop putting on a dress. Stop wearing your fringes. Stop keeping a sad. Get rid of that blonde hair and all that. When you start uh, loving yourself like the Bible tell you to do, keeping these commandments, watch how much hate come your way. And you don't even have to speak. You don't have to say anything. All you have to do is like, don't do it. I don't do it. Watch how people hate you. You don't do Christmas. Right. You're the damn devil. Even even a hustler, even a hustler, even a drug dealer on the corner that sells dope to his old people and kill his old people celebrate Christmas. Even a person that don't even believe in God at all celebrates celebrate Christmas. Christmas. That's why nobody has a problem with the Christian church. Nobody. Even even Farrakhan goes into a Christian church and teaches. You think, you, gonna, hey, you think you can come in here? Ask them. Listen, ask them. Do they think you can come in here? Do y'all think Louis Farrakhan can walk into any school of Israel United in Christ and teach us anything? We'll wait five seconds. Time's up. He will get rebuked <laughs> quickly. If he showed up to a camp, he will get rebuked Quickly, they'll, listen. They'll get so mad. They'll, they'll kill us. That's how carnal they are. We don't play that. We ain't gonna say, "Oh, it's Farrakhan." Farrakhan walks into a church in the middle of a sermon, and, and they, the pastor will and stop talking. And them niggas rose from clap because <laughs> the world love his own. The world love his own. We prove it to you. The Bible says you know a man by his what? His roots. His works. But read, read on. Read the next verse. It's going to make itself painfully clear. John chapter 15 verse 20. Remember the word that I remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. What did our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ go through? Gossip. People putting lies on him. Slander. People trying him, trying to mix him up in his words. People, they, they even tried to uh, come against the stone, but he got away from that. Right. He got. Well, they was always trying to kill him. Right. That's why he go to certain cities because they were trying to kill him in that right that, that area. They released a known murderer. They were screaming, "Free Barabbas! Free my nigga Barabbas!" <laughs> and, and let an innocent man get crucified. They pulled the beard out of his face. They spit on him when he walked by. This is, hey, this is Israel. This is us. They scourged him. They, they beat him on his back. Bring they hung him on a cross. Bring it out. What makes you think you different if you say you claim that you follow Jesus the Christ? The servant ain't no better or greater than his Lord. Meaning if that happened to him, something of that renown is going to happen to us. Right. You don't think we know that? You think that's going to stop me from preaching this gospel? You got to be crazy. These, these scoffers come on here. They think, oh, oh that was Israel. Oh, they think, oh, we, bro, we laugh at you. You was a clown. <coughs> <laughs> you were a clown. We ready to die for this thing. You come on here talking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they didn't even bother us. Right. Like back in the day, you know this is our people because they said you want Jesus or Barabbas. They talking about free Barabbas. Just like you get free Boosie. Yeah. Yeah. Free my, free, free my, free my nigga Pookie. Pookie done sold drugs, shot at his own no, brothers. Just, Don't take care of his kids, but you want him you free. Me, you but you hate us, though. You because me, we tell you to take care of your kids. You made me think of something real quick. Now... <clears throat> These brothers go to jail for doing something they did. I'm talking about those who go to jail for killing, murdering, and you they get mad and you don't put nothing on their books. So you put something on their books. You take care of the dude who in college, who trying his best in college, he stole it. You don't put nothing on his books. He stole it. He actually getting real books. 
He ain't putting it on his books. You know what I'm saying? The one who need help in for the education, because I know, I knew a lot of, uh, I didn't go to college, but I was uh, friends with a lot of brothers who went to college. Lee was always struggling, eating Thai ramen noodles. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they don't eat. Dude in jail eat better than them, because you take care of him. He got a cell full of honey buns. You, you, uh, Texas you know my mama cinnamon told, rolls. You know, you know what my mom told me? I need like help one time. She said, well, you, you know your brother needed more. But he ain't wickedness. They get three meals a day. Now, this is before I was mandatory. This is before I was in, in a troop. You know what I'm saying? He out there doing, I'm out here busting my butt working. Your brother needed, he, he, he ain't like you. You stronger. He, he weak to the stuff. I'm like, boy, I was about to. But I'm going to use it, I'm going to do it for good, I'm going to use it for better. That's just how my frame of people, we've always been like that. We've always been stiff-necked and hard-headed to the laws of God. Always. That's why when we tell you, hey, bro, you got to take off that dress and put on some pants. Hey, sister, you got to take the pants off and put on a dress. They curse us out like a dog. Why? Because Christ was doing the same thing when he was on earth. Same thing. Same thing. He was teaching repentance when he was armed. And guess what we're doing now? we teach teaching repentance before the end. Because when that day comes and you see the Son of God come back in his glory and you ain't right, you're going to remember the day that you heard us tell you to get right. Right, because these are the things. All right. <clears throat> this what, I'm glad you're going over this class. Because a lot of, I'm, I'm talking about brothers who keep the commandments, you know, Sometimes we get sidetracked thinking that the deep things, that's, you know, I got to, I got to get the deep things. I got to get the deep things. Listen, the stuff we're going over now, the basics, that's what you're going to need to get the kingdoms. Deep things. Look, look, watch this. <laughs> I got to go over this. You learning the 12 feathers, you learning the 24 elders, you learning. But you're cheating on your wife. Right. You know that, but you're cheating on your wife. You try to stand up to the master in the day of judgment and tell him you knew what the 12 feathers was. And he said, why could you wear clothes that was 100 percent fabric? I didn't know I had to wear that. What good is that knowledge then? And that's, and that's not even deep. That's come on, man. Why did you cut it to your natural beard line? Why you got your head covered? You won't show me no respect. But you go in the courthouse, show your so-called white man respect when you take your head off in front. You ain't listen. You ain't getting in front of no white man in his court with, with a hat on. With a hat on, not doing it. But you gonna do it to God? You ain't gonna show him no reverence. You ain't gonna show him no respect. Take your head off when you in his presence. But you gonna do it to the so-called white man? But you gonna have a hole in the top of your do you? rag. Talk about my head ain't covered. You got to be stupid. Listen, go in. Try that with the so-called white man. With going up with that little hole uh, uncovered, with the little with, the, with your little Moloch star. Go in there with that and see if he'll make you pull it off. You got to be stupid. He's he gonna be like, this man crazy. You still got your head covered, sir. If you don't, we're gonna put you in prison. Guess what's gonna happen? Swoop! You gonna get fired and you're gonna be put in prison. If you play with that, if you play with that judge. Go try it. I dare you. Let me let me finish with verse 20. Read verse 20 from the top. John chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. We know you Christ is not a liar. Christ is not a man that he should lie. We know we're gonna have to go through this. Why? Because he said we would have to. Really? If we don't go through it, we ain't serving the one true God. We not. That's how we know if we not a, if we are or not. Read that again. Read it again. John chapter fifteen verse twenty. Remember the word that I said unto you. He said, "Remember," because you know these Nimrods gonna forget. A lot of people come to Israel and they think it's it's going. They've been in Christianity so long, to where when they come to here they think it's gonna be something like, oh, uh, listen. I'm look. I'm happy too that I found my who I that, but it's more than that. I'm happy that I found that I'm um, I'm Israelite. All praises, 
But it's more than knowing to you. That, I mean, it's more. It's more to you knowing. Uh, it's more. Tell me out. It's more than just knowing you in Israel. Thank you. I couldn't get that out. For some reason. It's more. <laughs> you said, okay, I know I'm an Israelite. You no know, change, nothing in your ways. Guess what's going to happen to you when that day comes? That's what I meant to say. Death. It's more to that. Whoa. Because guess what? They knew there was Israelite when Moses came out with them. Um, come oh, out. Right. Before they went into the, the, the land of milk and honey. Before they went into Canaan, Jerusalem. They knew there was Israelites. They knew uh, uh, God chose them. Guess what? We knew we was Israelites when we first got on a boat headed to America. The Native American Indians knew they was Israel when the conquistadors showed up. They were speaking Hebrew. That meant nothing. Land fringes. That meant nothing. What meant everything is keeping the commandments. That's why everything happened to us the way it happened. Because we decided, nah, we don't need to do that. And God punished us every single time. But I knew the name though. Right. I knew his name though. Right. They knew but his I, name too. But we, I still went into captivity. Jeremiah still went into captivity. And people, I, I'll be weaving Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Christ in captivity? Yes. Did Christ know his name? Yes. Christ was in the Roman captivity. And you can't, Christ knew the name. Christ, our Lord and Savior. He knew, he knew, he's the Alpha and Omega. He was in captivity as well. The Roman captivity. With the rest of and us. And he was paying taxes. With the rest of us. So what do you, bro? Listen, if y'all don't wake up with this crazy doctrine, keep the commandments. Period. That's it. It can be all so simple, but a simple Negro would just make it super complex. The most I say, I gave you straight commandments. He said simplicity in Christ. He's not going to put stuff there where you got to be like, oh. You got our brothers and sisters listen to Umar Johnson. As good as that brother could talk, tell you every curse that's written in Deuteronomy 28 in his own way. He ain't saying Deuteronomy 28, 16. He's telling you what they're doing, what's happening to us as a people. And you can read about the same thing in Deuteronomy 28. And you, he has the solution. He said, we need to get our own school. That's the solution. Wait, hold on. That is not the Wait, hold on. I'm going to prove that that's not the solution. Because we had our own schools. We had our own banks. We had our own stores. We had our, where? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go look it up. It could be all so simple. We had everything. Go look at Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go look up Black Wall Street. We had everything that you can think of. I would say we had even hospitals. We had our own doctors because why? We couldn't go to there, so we had to get our own. But the most high said, no, I see in the want of all things. I was saying, do you all understand a white man was put here for a reason? To whoop our behinds and not keep the commandments? That's why we get blasted in the streets. Yeah, he was I, only he only doing what he made to do. Right. I'm more mad at y'all than them. Cause you if you keep the commandments, it's gonna stop. Read. We gonna get through verse twenty now, y'all. We, we, we gonna finally get through reading again. <laughs> you know how I go read show. You know how I do. John chapter fifteen verse twenty. Remember the word that I said unto you: the servant is not greater than his lord. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my say, they will also keep yours. But all these things will they do unto, unto you for my name's sake. But they know not him that sent me. Because the reason why they're doing these things to us, Israel, is because they don't even know God. They don't know the Most High. They don't know his son, Jesus the Christ. That's why they don't know us. It wasn't meant for the world to understand us. Right. It was meant for the world to go against us at every resource, in every system, in every way. That's why it's, this fight is not for the weak. It's only for the strong. Get Luke chapter 6 verse 22. Because y'all got to realize 
with the officer saying, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. Your brother in the truth, your sister in the truth as well. You will be offended in this truth. You will be corrected in this truth. Right. You're going to drop back and go back into the world with all you know because you just can't take somebody telling you you're wrong? Or they might wrong you in this truth. They might wrong you in this truth. Somebody might wrong you. We all growing. Everybody don't have it, a hundred. Everybody, nah, I'm still working on me. You understand? But guess what? I know the stuff I do know, I know how to apply. I know if I step on a brother's foot, I know how to say, brother, I'm sorry about that. I'm just using it for example. Yeah, I ain't, I'm talking about sin. If I, uh, uh, I'm using that step on a foot as sin. If I step, I know how to go to that brother because the Bible tells me what to do, to fix it. Most I ain't gonna even accept your gift, your prayers, until you fix it with your brother. Stuff like that you need to know. That you need to know before you make it to the kingdom. Tell me what I'm lying. You ain't, but watch this. Did you get did you get him a stone the hole? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well go go where you going. Leviticus oh, nineteen you? seventeen, because yeah. we, we about to bring this in context. Leviticus chapter nineteen seventeen. I got a question from Periscope. Even though your brother ain't in the truth, or your sister ain't in the truth, are you supposed to still love them? Yes or no? Why are ends? Okay, all praises. So, so, hey, all yeah. praises. Okay. I see people studying. Okay, all people praises. People studying. That's so, what I'm talking about. So you know, even though they curse you, because what did Christ say? He said, forgive them, Father. They, not, they know not what they do. These are the same people that spit on him on his way to Calvary. These are the same ones that pulled his beard out of his face. That's the ones you forget. Your brother and sister, Israel. You be quick to forget the white, so-called white man. And they use that scripture to do it. But they won't forget their own brother and sister. Some of the, some, I'm not even going to talk on these other camps. But some people that believe that they Israel hate their own brother. Even though your, your old brother don't know. The most high didn't wake him up yet. How you gonna hate him because he the, he had had kill, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had a kill when Michael Brown got killed, right? We went out there to uh, Ferguson, Ferguson, right? We went out there to Ferguson. They was like, Israel United in crisis, dummies. They going out there to preach to dead people. Who else are we gonna preach to? The two thirds. How you know who the two thirds is? <laughs> who else are we gonna preach to? Because didn't God tell Ezekiel to preach to the dry bones? Prophesy to the dry bones? My words, and they stand up, and flesh came upon them. Now, listen, man, that's how much that's how much the hatred is. That's how much the hatred is. Some people are coons with Bibles. Real talk. Some people are coons with the name Israel. And if you can't read, read Leviticus 19:17, we got brothers right now. In the truth, I'm not saying the camp, our camp. I'm not saying that, but I see on online brothers. On on the new on, on on YouTube, yeah, these niggas, these simple niggas, you know, this two thirds, you know, calling out women the B word on the street. And they don't even know, like, they don't even they just they don't know the Israel. You you don't even give them the knowledge. You just cussing them out. MF this B Pump this, pump that. Read, read Leviticus 1917. Because how are you going to keep this law? What, are you just going to keep this with the people of the truth? That makes no sense. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Start at 19 and 1 so we can get the context. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. And the Lord spake unto Moses, speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. But no, no, no. Just speak, just speak to the ones repenting. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Read 17. Verse 17. Thou shalt not take thy brother in thy heart. That goes for all Israel. Okay, if you an Israelite say, claiming you keep the commandments, you have to keep this commandment. You can't hate your brother in your heart. I'm not talking about, oh, he smoked weed, he a game banger. Let me go hang out with him because I love him. I ain't talking about that type of love. I'm not talking about that type of love. Read on. This is the love I'm talking about. 
Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. I love, I love you so much that I'll tell you to stop selling drugs. I love my people so much, I'll tell you to stop gang begging. I love my people so much, I'll tell a man to be a father to his children. That's how much I love my people. I ain't gonna just sit in a corner and watch my people destroy themselves. Read, and not suffer sin upon him. If I see my brothers and sisters doing wrong, that's why we go to camp. We ain't like your Christian church, just come in and then we, we just give you a sermon, we give you some knowledge. We going to you, because you need it. We ain't going to the rich side of town either. We are going to the slums and the ghettos, to the people that need it the most. Why? Because I love my brothers and sisters in the world. I love them. Read. You want verse 18? Yes. Verse 18. <clears throat> Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. And if a brother wrongs me in this truth or in this world, I am commanded by the Most High God not to hold a grudge against that brother or sister. Because I fear God. And that ain't going to do nothing but cause more problems and more evil. That's how the devil creep in. You have a grudge, next thing you know it's evil surmising. Now you think evil of this brother. Now if this brother need help, he could be on a cliff, and you're the only one that can help him. You probably sit there and watch him fall. That's what holding a grudge will do. You want to see this brother suffer. That's what a grudge would do. And we command him not to do that. Read. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I, if I say I love myself, if I say I love being an Israelite, if I hate another brother that don't know he's Israel, or even that he does know he's Israel, that shows that I hate myself. Got something to say, officer? I'm just listening to you, bro. You going in, bro? We about to take a quick. We about to take a quick, quick musical break. Go ahead and hit us off, Soldier Jeremiah. We gonna let that marinate. I ain't gonna overdo it. Pray to the most high. Boy, you cannot stop it. It's not a command. It's not a It's no option. Chosen by God. I'm not trying to die. And tell me your nationality. I tell you mine. Yeah. You're heart of a lion. You made up my mind. Yeah. I really made up my mind. Yeah. I got no doubt in my mind. You said it before. You better get yourself together. Being a dummy. Just say no. Give us a solution. Absolutely. That's exactly what Frank said. You know we ain't gonna know. The fact that he ain't gonna be proper side. Hey, it's going, look, this is the fight. This is the condition of the battle. It's going to get turned up. Don't the most have these say going to put us through the gold? Some people are stuck. We live a story of people fighting every day. Say, stop. Yeah. Lying to I made my mind up, I'm in this. Sister that, uh, brother, sister that missed out on the class when his phone died, you can replay it. Parents gonna allow you to replay it. Man, look at our love. Don't you want to know about your history? Don't you know that I love you? I didn't see that you said, am I wrong? I didn't see what you put. They said they can't sign 100% back. How come my folks are rebellious? You can't sign 100% back. They said they look. I looked at them everywhere and they couldn't find no 100% back. I got 100% back. Me too. This is 100% cut. 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 This is 100
You ain't gonna find no 100% shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? Just give me that little uh, 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 Come on now. This is Judges chapter 5, verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. They that are delivered from the noise of archers. That nuclear um, uh, fire that's coming over here. Read. In the places of drawing water. That's here. Come on. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. This is what we're going to re rehearse the righteous acts. This rehearsal. This is what we, we try to do our best to keep the commandments. You do your best. You do your best to keep these commandments. You know. Were you wrong? Okay, bro. Were you wrong for like uh, going over scriptures with him? No, you're not wrong for going over scriptures with him. You commanded to if your brother, you know. If, I mean, you want you got to share this gospel. I mean, now I mean. Okay, I walked in with hundreds on me. Came in the truth, I lost my homies. I ain't tripping, I got new friends. It's the brotherhood, ain't got time for phonies. I'ma serve the Lord, the one and only. Best believe I got the Bible on me. Yo, Pastor Priest, it's all baloney. He just want the cheese, macaroni. Catch me with him. Nah, you the spirit of day. The Lord, I don't catch me. You the spirit of day. You don't have to deal with him, brother, but you still gotta love him. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You can't have no malice or no yeah, hatred yeah, towards you. Yeah, you can't, like, you gotta forgive him. And forgive him don't mean, like, you gotta deal with him. That don't, that's not meaning that. Because if a person robbing me, why would I still hate the person that's robbing me? Robbing me. Or a person, he's selling drugs, I'm gonna kick him with the drug dealer? No. No, I'm not kicking him with him. I battle with that. You understand what I'm saying? The office is helping me get through. Because I had hatred in my heart for my my blood, my blood brother, but I got over it. They helped me, they counseled me. Right, you don't have to deal with them, bro. And uh, he might have done you a favor. If he get high and drunk, and you and your son living with him, he did you a favor. Right. Hatred only comes when if he acquires about the truth and you're reluctant to tell him. Right. You know what I mean? That's hatred. You don't want your brother to get right. You want to see him die. That's hatred for your brother. Paul said that I wish that all my people would repent. Even the ones that was whooping them and beating them. Right. He said, My prayer for Israel is that they all repent. That got stoned to death? Yeah, he was like, He did what Jesus is He just said things. They beat on him and everything. They were biting. Bro, just imagine if people bite on Guess what? You've been living in a FEMA camp your whole life. You've been in captivity your whole life. You live in a FEMA camp right now. They are not gonna get it. They're not gonna get it. Hey, where was that when Paul was getting whooped on? Uh, what we just went over? Second Corinthians 11, uh, 23, 23. Nah, brother, some, of, some of us are just simple, bro. Just don't mind them. Just don't mind them, y'all. I'm not even going to entertain it today. Don't even entertain it. 
Society. It could be all so simple if we kept the commandments. But we want to worry about worldly stuff like the white man putting us in prison. Newsflash, he's been doing that. <laughs> that's who, that's how you know who got the power in their life. He's so, it's getting he's so, man. Right. He's scared of Esau. The ghetto is FEMA. I like that. You're right. Ask the people that was in Hurricane Katrina about FEMA. This brother sitting right here. The president said we couldn't find the water. That what the president said. know. Come on, man. Your Christian church is a FEMA camp. It spiritually got you bounded up in foolishness. That camp you go to is a FEMA camp. Play another one. Play three of them. Hear those things. You see what time it is? Songboy? Who worried about FEMA? Esau? Yeah, no. Esau, Jake, Jake, Jake worried about, about FEMA. FEMA. Jake scared of, <laughs> bro. Jake always was scared of Esau, bro. Jake. Why they getting all them caskets? <laughs> <laughs> why, they, why they shutting Walmart down? Good song to play. Yeah, shut up. That brought the spirit of day, bro. Yeah, that's my little brother. <laughs> We worried about Esau, but we killing each other more than Esau right now. Esau's killed a lot of us. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that. But we 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 the ones killing each other now. They sit back watching us kill each other. What that? Oh, what that? Oh, what is boys? 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 That white man told you to do it. You all right with me, nigga? I'm gonna do you too. Put it in my mouth. So you all right with me? You doing my job? I don't know what movie that was. That was Tales from the Hood. Oh. I showed my age again. That's on Tales from the Hood. I forgot when it came out. But they ain't getting away. So don't get it twisted. Got an ICBM bomb that can destroy landmass the size of Texas, and you worried about a FEMA camp? Wake up! How you get the bro? Bro, that's crazy. Most of I wake you up. Why not you Israelite? And you still won't keep the commandments. No. The most I wake you up, they find out they're Israelite, and they prophet is Alex Jones. <laughs> they said try under the foot. Prophet Alex Jones to them. They watch his show faithfully every day. They ain't in the scriptures, they take it out. Okay. You think the white man gonna tell you what the white man doing? That's that, that's that one where they say the devil come and take it out of their ear. As soon as they hear it, he come and take the word that they just received. All this Illuminati crap. Do you think the Illuminati? <laughs> A secret society is found out. <laughs> the irony in that. <laughs> 
Captivity to captivity, I'm talking about when every prophet, I don't care where you go at, we had problems with their forgiveness. It's two nine three. We had problems with their forgiveness. Right, we do. The number is four zero five two nine. Y'all got me saying the wrong number now. Two nine three twenty twenty nine. Four zero five two nine three twenty twenty nine. But for those that have not heard. We, we are teaching repentance right now. We are telling you the conditions of the battle and what you must do to repent. So right. let me first Kings chapter 8, right. start at verse 46. Right. Because in the spirit, Solomon seen what was going to happen to us. So he, he prayed to the Most High God himself and said this for us. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for, for there is no man that said it not. There is not one Israelite that has not broke God's commandments. Outside of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ was perfect. But I'm talking about amongst us. We got a call. We're going to hold on 846. So, caller, what's your name? Where you from? Yes, sir. I'm German from Dallas. Shalom. What's going on, bro? I, I have a question. Yes, sir. And the question is concerning what, uh, what the brother was talking about. Uh, who's our brothers? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you still there? Yes, sir. I heard Sean. Sean, what's going on? I hear you now. Yes, sir. Your question? Yeah, my question is uh, who considers our brothers? You know, is it unrepentant Israelites or is it just the one that's keeping the commandments of God? I mean, I know that we're too. Uh, to seek, uh, to seek, uh, we're, we're supposed to, uh, you know, help our brothers with correction, but we're not to hang out with them, right? And then the world, no, you're right. We supposed to still love them, though. That's why we go out to camp. That's why we. Love them, but they're not considered according to the scriptures that our brothers and sisters only the ones that are repentant, correct? That's not correct. If they got the blood of Israel in them, they are yet still your brother and your sister. Now, dealing with scriptures. Or dealing with the brotherhood. Am I going to go to a drug dealer's house and kick it with him? No, I'm not. He's still my brother, though. I pray he repents. I pray he repents, but... We're not going to go to the show together. No. We're not, you know, we're not going to sit down and have a uh, drink together. You know what I'm right. saying? We, we're not going to play dominoes together. Or call, you know what I'm saying? Right. We, anytime we sit down, if he's unrepentant, when we sit down, we're going to go through the scriptures. If he's sitting in my presence... We go through the scriptures, and I'm trying to teach him to repent, show him to repent. Give me Malachi chapter four, verse three, verse sixteen. Give me that. Malachi. Yeah, because the the law says in Leviticus nineteen and seventeen, you should not hate thy brother in thy heart, but any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Yeah, Yo, you that's your hold any grudges. Right, that's your brother. Was it the truth? Are you just supposed to rebuke those that's in the truth? The Republicans didn't even do that. Okay. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, me just rebuking Officer Yawasab or Lamuel or Soldier Jeremiah isn't what it was talking about. It's also going to these highways and these hedges, going to these slums and ghettos and teach our people. 
rebuke our people that they could come into the fold. Why? Because we love them. That's our brothers. Right. That's showing love. Because okay, love I is. I was looking at Luke chapter 8, verse 21, and uh, Mark 3 35, and Matthew 12 15. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. But is that saying that that's only your brothers in the truth? You ain't supposed to care about the people in the world? Is that what you got out of those scriptures? No, I'm saying I'm not saying you're not supposed to care about them. But I'm saying that uh, is it is that is that not Christ here as far as the uh, who he yeah. saying is not brothers? So I'm not saying you're not supposed to care about them. That's not what I'm saying. So maybe I'm a little still lost because you asked. Are they still our brother well, in the, the world? Give one of the scriptures he called out. You said Luke 8, 21? Yeah, Luke 8, 21. Because I don't remember like that. I got to hear it. Luke chapter 8. Go ahead and read that. Luke chapter 8, verse 21. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. Read. Verse 22. Now it came to pass on a certain day. Hold on, hold on. Go up, go up, yeah. Yeah, this is Christ talking when they was like, hey, your mother and his brothers is out. Chapter 8, verse 20. And it was told him by certain which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to see now, you. Now watch this. Is he about to say that, is he saying that his mother and brother not in the truth here? Because a lot of people think that's what that's talking about. He's just making a part here. That's it. But read on. And he, and he answered and said unto them, My mother... And my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. You see that? Those are his brothers and sisters that keep the commandments. Meaning these are the people who I ride with. These are the people who I trust. Right. Right. All right. That's the people we ride with. That's the people we trust. But that doesn't mean that uh, the brother who uh, and not keep the commandments is not his brother. That doesn't mean that. He's just a Gentile. The same thing, your brother, your kinsman, your kinsman according to the flesh, meaning the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans would be your brothers and your neighbors. Okay. All right. What is that when you um when Christ say uh, Lord, Lord? Seven twenty one. Watch this. Seven twenty one. Watch this, brother. Cause uh, I'm thinking we confusing you. Right, but he's, he's saying, three and I mean, one, three and thirty-five. Grab Matthew twelve and fifty. Because it's your point. That, what is your point that we are supposed to deal with? That keep the commandments and not deal with those. That don't? No, that's what I'm saying. Then what's the what? What are you? I'm, I'm still lost of what you're trying to get at, bro. What I'm asking is, when, when we when, when, when we deal with as far as like on a brotherly sense, because kind of like in, in Sirach, was it Sirach 12 and 1? Right. What were we folks in, in, a, in, a, in a brotherly No, 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 you're right. No, we ain't, you see what you're saying. In that sense, no, we, we don't deal with those that don't keep the commandments. Like if, if your brother, like in the world, sell drugs and he own drugs or he's not keeping commandments at all, and he say, hey, bro, let me borrow $400. No. Right. Sirach 12 means that you don't give him the money. Why? Because he's not a godly person. Right. But if he say, hey, bro, I want to know about the truth. Uh, I want to sit down and give scriptures, go through some scriptures, because I, I want to change my life. Are you supposed to do it? Yes, yes, yes. I, yes, yes. I, I never said that. Right, right. Okay. I'm telling you the difference. Right. It's a, all right, put it like this. It's a certain way you deal with people that's in the truth, a certain way you deal with people that's not in the truth. But they still yet. But they're still your brother. Christ said, I did, I did. Christ said, I picked 12, and one of you the devil. Could Judas, could Judas repent? Could he, could he repent? No, he, no, no, he did. Because You will say something. Okay. Okay. I was just saying you have it. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Okay. I don't know. What, I mean, so you bro, still confused on it? Let me ask you. Are you still confused? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
kind of like go back to 1250 and 1 335 if you could. But it, it, I don't want to take up the show, you know. What do you say, man? 1250, grab it. Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. For whosoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and right. mother. Right. So we, we say the same thing, bro. We say the oh. same thing. Nope. I think you're getting mixed up on what we call the people in the world our brother. By blood, it, it, they are our kids. They are our brothers and sisters by blood. They have the ability to repent if they want to or need, you know, if they wanted to. They're our brother. Why? Because they are the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right, that, I understand that. Right. But are we supposed to deal with them? Like, are we supposed to go to uh, their functions? Are we supposed to go to a house party? Even though our brother, like our brothers in the world, throwing it, no, because it's not for us. Give me Malachi chapter three verse sixteen. This is what this is going into. Christ said, "Watch this." When Christ was crucified, who was there? His mother, the woman that birthed him, Mary. What did she? What did he tell her? To, uh, she's, you know, she's at the cross. He said, he told John, which was the disciple that was there, "Behold thy mother and woman. Behold thy son." Right. So he never dis he never just dissed his mama altogether. He was proving a point to those all, that was out there was scoffing. Doing. That's all he was doing. Because he told his disciple to take care of his mom. So there's no difference between being kinsmen and brothers. I mean, you the words are interchangeable. Because what okay, Paul okay. said in okay. Romans chapter nine, he said. Uh, he I said, a, I wish I was a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. He just okay, said the same okay. thing. Oh, did say that. Okay. Uh, hold on. I got to run the scripture for you. Hold on. Yes. Grab that Malachi 316, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, grab that real quick. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16. Then they that then feared the Lord spake often one to another. Those that who? Fear the Lord, spake often one to another. That's us getting together, brother. That's us convocating. That's us going over scriptures, us talking with one, to no, uh, one another. Read on. Uh, no, yeah, I'm not dead. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. Because yeah. those that fear the Lord, those are the ones what? Keeping the commandments. They speak right. off one to another. That means they communicate. They come up with each other. They hang out, if you can understand. And a book of remembrance was written for those that did that. That's a commandment. Go ahead. So that's why we, so when Christ said, the ones that do the will of my father or my brothers and my sisters, those are ones that he's, he's he, hanging with. He, he rolling with. And he also said, my sheep hear my voice. I know when they will not follow. Okay. All right, so hold on, I got one more scripture for you. Yes, sir. Matthew. Because Christ said this. Christ said this. Matthew chapter 5, verse 42. Do Christ contradict himself, brother? No, you don't contradict himself. All right, I'm about to read this then. Read that. For if you love them which love you. He said, if you love them that love you. What he, he said, those who keep the commandments. On my brother and my sister, right? Meaning those who love them. The love is keeping the commandments. Read that again. If, for if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? The reward you have you. Read. Do not even the publicans the same? Don't the publicans do that? Read. And if you salute your brethren only. If you salute your brethren only, read. What do ye more than others? What do ye all? You ain't no different than the other people. I'm not saying that you're not supposed to love them. No, I'm just showing you. I'm just, listen, I'm just showing you a difference. Okay. I'm the difference. Read, because Christ said that also. Christ said this is also this as well. Read. Do not even the publicans so, but on. but ye therefore per but ye therefore perfect even as your but. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Because Christ died for the nation of Israel. Yeah. He died for the nation of Israel in their wickedness. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But he still said, these are those who keep the commandments on my brothers and my sisters. Because guess what? Everybody who 
well, friends of in Border Blue don't have your interests. That's all you were saying. That's all you were saying. Right, because you got to stand in the context of, of Matthew 12. He, he's around his disciples and he's preaching. And someone said, hey, your brothers, your, 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 actual, your actual blood brothers and your blood mother is standing out. Are you not going to stop preaching or hanging with them to go see what they're talking about? Christ was like, these are the ones that keep God's commandments. These are all my brothers. These are all my sisters. These, this, these, these are all my mother. Basically saying he's not going to put his blood family before those that keep God's commandments. That's basically what he was saying. Yeah, right. Right, 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 right. That's, that's what I'm just saying. Okay. Right, right. Okay. That's the same thing. I, all right, so you know. Right. Okay. We were saying the same thing, bro. That's all it was. Just miscommunicate. We were saying the exact same thing. You right, bro. But, you know, we still got to, our brothers in the world are still our brothers. We still got to know that. What's it? Hey, bro, you still there? Yeah, I see that. What are you saying? I said that our brothers in the world that have not yet repented are still our brothers. We must, we must remember that. We got to treat them a different way than we treat our brothers in, in the truth. Because it's, it's commanded. Right, it's people. commanded. Because certain, I can't, like if he's doing hard, if he's on hard times, the, the Bible said, help the lowly of your people. If this brother uh, is doing, uh, he's low, he don't have money, he's poor. I'm supposed to help him. But the brother who's breaking the commandments, and he all for all hard times, the most high did that to him for a reason. You to get right. To get right, because he said if I help him, then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get punished. Right. So bro, uh I hope we answered your question. I hope everything, you know, we, we ironed everything out for you. Uh wait, he said, what where you stand? Dallas. You need with the Dallas nah. camp? Yes, sir. You with the Dallas camp? Oh, yeah, I'm with Dallas camp. Okay, all right. All praises. All praises. All right, all praises. Shalom, bro. Most high Christ bless. All right, shalom. Most high Christ bless. How much time we got? Seven minutes. You got a description you would bring out your side? I had um I had this one scripture about uh I forgot I lost it. I but we must understand that. We gotta go back to first Kings. Yeah, we gotta go back, yeah, go to first Kings. But we must understand as brothers and sisters in this truth, we we must be able to differentiate relationships with the world, the people still in the world that haven't repented yet, and those that are keeping God's commandments. Because Christ we must said, be able to differentiate. Those who hate those who do not hate their mother and hate their father don't love me. Was he literally talking about hating your mother? No, no he was not talking about hating me. Forsake me. Look, I'm not doing birthdays no more. Right. I'm not doing Christmas no more. Days of, of the world. You can't deny them in that, then you can't be a follower of Christ. That's what that's talking about, hating them. We don't want to be confused in Christ's speech, you know? Because he was, you know, I know the brother, the brother, he kind of gets, was he, he, he was just, I guess, mixed up on why would we call them in the world brothers still when we call each other in the truth brothers and sisters. Right. I mean, by blood, we are brothers and sisters. Right. You know, we are neighbors. We are kinsmen. We are cousins. We are all of that. But I want my brothers and sisters that's asleep to wake Listen, up. I pray every night for my family, my, my relatives. Um, my immediate family and those who we go out in the street before I go out the street, I hope these brothers and sisters wake up. I pray for that because I love them because I know they don't know. They don't, they we destroy it, folks. We destroy it. Wait, what you say, brother? How can you help what? Get, a, get your Bibles. How can they help you get some get your Bibles back? Oh, praises to the Most High. How can they? How they how can they help you get your Bibles? Restore oh, your Bibles. Get you some oh, Bibles. Get you okay. Some Bibles. Oh, 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 praises, brother. Oh, praises. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it is. You better. You better. We, we, we gotta get clearance first yeah, before we, gotta, we can ever do that. Everything yeah. decently in order. Yeah, I got it. You know, uh, we we'll get back to you on that on tomorrow if we get approved if something like that was worked out. 
you guys, you know, we'll, we'll say something. I appreciate about it, you, brother. But all uh, praises for that. That's love right there. Right, right. You know, that, that's helping a brother in need right there. Right. All uh, praises. Because, to be honest with you, I, I'm glad you said it, bro. I don't, I don't, I ain't gonna say it. Yeah. Let me know, read that. Eight, we gonna, we gonna finish it off with eight kings. Because we must repent, Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, or those that fit the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28, or the curses in Leviticus 26. Right. You, the brother say, prove a friend. Right. Who, whoever bear witness with these curses is an Israelite. Read that. First, first Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Through 50. Yeah. First Kings chapter, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinned not. There's no man amongst us that have not broke God's commandments. Christ was perfect. There was other perfect examples in the Bible. But for the sake of everybody that's in America, in the mid South America, and you, we go through the curse because we sin, period. Read. And thou be angry with them. And He's angry with us because the curse is happening. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. He delivered us to the enemy. That's why we live in America, Mexico. South America, not governing ourselves, and also abroad in Africa. We got a remnant in Africa and all other places across the world. I gotta say that now. We everywhere on this periscope and on this radio station. Right. Right. I have to say that now. Right. Correct all me if praise. I never say it. All praise to the Most High. Read. So that they carry them away captives into the land of the enemy, far or near. Some of us is near to Jerusalem still. Some of us is far away, like us in here in America. Come on. Yet. If they shall bethink themselves in the land. Stop. But think means to remember. And we remember ourselves. The scripture is, uh, what is the scripture you read? First Kings chapter 8, uh, verse 47. Verse 47. Okay. Read that from the top. First Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they bethink themselves. Remember themselves. In the land where they were carried captives. In the land where we was carried captives. Right here. We got to do it right here. Mm -hmm. Come on. And repent. Repent. What does repent mean? Repent means to stop. Return actually to the commandments is what it means. Return to, to basically turn away from the wicked ways of the world that you were taught your whole life. And return back to the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. That is your duty. That's the whole duty of man for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read on. And make supplication unto thee. In the land of them that carried them captive, say, We got to make supplication in the land, right here, telling God that we did wrong. What we got to tell him? Read. We have sinned. In order to tell God that we've sinned, we must know what, what sin is, which is a transgression of the commandments. That means you must learn the commandments. You must learn and know the commandments in order to tell God what you've sinned for, what you've done. You don't know the commandments. How can you repent from your sin? It's impossible. So you must return back to the commandments, come on. And done perversely. You must tell God you've sinned and done perversely, because we all have. We've all come from different walks of life. We've done some things that the Bible calls abominable, right. which is disgusting to God. Right. That's perverse. Right. We all have done it. If you ever put a pork chop in your mouth, you've committed an abomination. If a sister has ever put on pants, you've committed an abomination. That's just too... That's just too Examples. Read on. We have committed wickedness. We committed wickedness. We've done wickedly. Look at how we used to live compared to before now. If you're still in, in the world, look at what you do now. It is not of God. It's wicked. If it is not of God, it's wicked. It's evil. Period. Read on. First Kings 8, 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart. Return. Return. Because you used to be with God. You must return before the end comes. Because you don't want to be the one still in the world when the end comes. Read on. Yes, sir. And with all.